Hi, and welcome to Inside Out. I'm your host, Jan Dupuy. We have two interviews for you tonight. First, I'll be speaking with Anoshin, who followed his love from Sri Lanka and was helped by the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre. After the break, I'll be speaking with John Somaji about the Victoria Sports and Social Club. All over the world, there are millions who live ordinary lives with quiet courage. One such man is Anoshin Ahangama, a young lawyer from Sri Lanka who dreams of a better life, using his law skills to work with the disadvantaged. Back home, he fell in love with a girl who immigrated to Canada. What else could he do but follow her here? The good news is he got the girl. They married and are expecting their first baby. The challenge is, settling into this new life in Canada has been a lonely, tough, bureaucratic battle. So one that has tested a notion's resolve in a way nothing else ever has before. Accessing the services of the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre has been a lifeline for an ocean. An ocean, how did your journey to Canada begin? Actually, uh, first I met uh, my wife. At that time, she was my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, almost 10 years ago when I was in high school and uh, after that she moved here uh, and she got a permanent resident status and then she came uh, back to back home and then we got married right. and after that mm, like two years ago uh, I moved to Victoria. So you've been married for two years? Yes I have. Okay. And how did you discover the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center? Actually, my wife recommended me because she, even she was helped by uh, Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center Society. So uh, I went there with her first time. So yeah, that's how I got, got to know about uh, works. Mm -hmm. And what kind of programs have you been involved in? Uh, there are a few programs. The, uh, first one was they helped me to uh, find a, a job, like a, for kind of a basic job, right? Uh, through employment service, mm -hmm. and then uh, most importantly, they helped me through. Uh, I joined to uh, Skill Connect program. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, from that program, I was able to get uh, some funds and especially mentoring services uh, to find out the opportunities uh, which I can use for pursue my career right. as a lawyer in Canada. As a lawyer in Canada. Yes. So you were a lawyer in Sri, Sri Lanka? Yes, I, I am. Okay. And what do you have to do here now in Canada to become a lawyer here? Uh, I had to uh, assess my credentials, which I have already done, mm -hmm. and they have recommended me the organization, organization called National uh, Committee on Accreditation, just say NCA. Mm -hmm. uh, they have recommended me, I have to complete nine subjects. Right. So they have given me three options, which, uh, which are I can uh, challenge those subjects or maybe go back to school or combination. So what have you decided to do? Probably it would be combination, yeah. A combination of going combination back to school? Combination of going back to school and uh, challenging some, su some subjects. And you're in school now? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I'm going to, play, I'm going to apply uh, for schools, probably within this month. Right. And you are working. I th yes, I am. So what's a typical day like for you now? Uh, currently, since I'm working at uh, the hotel called Victoria Plaza, so uh, it's usually like I have to work 8 to 4 and then uh, go home and spend time with my wife because mm. uh, since we are new to Victoria, so 
like uh, we have to entertain each other. We don't have much friends in here in Victoria, so really? pretty much we are spending uh, my time, our time with uh, with ourselves, so with my wife. Right. Yeah. Right. Have you been getting to know Victoria while you're yes. at the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center? Yes. I, so I met like a uh, few amazing people and. So they were really nice and they were really helpful for me. Right. At the good. same time, I met uh, some other friends uh, when I was in uh, Kamosan College. Oh, yeah. that's good. So you're making your way in Victoria. Yes, I am. And so how is it comparing with what your hopes and your dreams were about coming here to Canada? Uh, like, I always had uh, like a uh, positive attitude, attitude mm -hmm. uh, towards Canada because life in Canada, I mean, because uh, I found that uh, Canada is a, it's a good, great country when it comes human rights, equality and treating people with uh, respect. So those are the values I really believed in. Mm -hmm. So in that way, I, uh, I was always thinking that uh, it's going to be fine, it's going to be perfect, uh, especially uh, uh, my child, which I uh, expect. Right, to. right. You are expecting a child, your yeah. first child. Yes, we are expecting first child. So you had your hopes and your dreams about you, what you really liked were the values that you yes. saw in Canada, and you're finding that to be? Yes, I am. That, is, that has come about? Yes, I am. Okay. That's great. And what kind of law do you want to practice? Um, like as I mentioned, I'm really interested in uh, human rights and immigration, and probably uh, constitutional law, which is maybe helpful for me regarding uh, public policy, public uh, public policy developments in those kind of fields. I'm really interested in. And what do you most like about living here in Victoria and being part of the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center? Mm, like I found that it's uh, basically it's convenient when it mm -hmm. comes uh, amenities and everything is very, uh, uh, I mean life when I comp compare back home and here it's very uh, comfortable, I mean it's kind of Stable, that's why I mean. It's stable. Yeah, it's stable. So, and uh, I, 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 I believe that uh, it will be fine. You know, I like uh, we have to get through some basic stuff, and uh, so in that case, uh, I find that even right now, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with the uh, life right now I have, and uh, I'm pretty much sure it's going to be. Uh, way better in the future. Right. So you're very optimistic about your future here. I'm always optimistic about my life and whatever uh, I deal with. So even in I'm, I'm uh, in back home. So uh, yeah. And are you still in touch with your family at home? Yes, I do. Because Will they come and visit you here? Uh, we hope. But uh, we have one day, but still uh, we have to figure it out some uh, basic things and stuff. So, but uh, I hope at some point when you're more settled point. and you have your baby, exactly. exactly, that's great. That's that's really great. Well, we had an opportunity to visit the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center and speak with David Lau about the programs and services they offer. Well, Verx was founded 23 years ago by three refugees um, who had a, a, a vision of, of, of an organization that could pr provide services to newcomers. Our, our clients can expect a nice, safe place to come, um, hopefully a warm cup of coffee or a hot cup of coffee, um, as well as some really helpful services to, to help them integrate into Canadian life. The settlement program uh, is a program that, that helps people essentially settle in Victoria. Um, our settlement workers help people find a place to live, um, 
help them, fi help them find a doctor. Uh, if, if they need to get in touch with any um, local service agencies, we can help with that. Um, essentially, it, it's, it's, it's a program that helps people settle in Victoria and, and start a new life here and integrate as quickly as possible. So how is this very big change in your life challenging for you and your wife, Takira? Yes. Basically, like as I mentioned, I, I always knew that uh, it's not going to be for forever. So always I, I believe that uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be more than so. We, so that uh, that opinion, that attitude, uh, make me feel better and you know uh, feel comfort and uh, working hard toward you know all. As always, uh, it's it's a kind of beginning of a life. So, and um, so in that case, I was uh, able to manage it. But still, it wasn't that hard. So, um, so I was able to manage. So, yeah. Oh. And what advice or suggestions would you give to other newcomers coming to Victoria and Ocean? I would say there are plenty of resources available. Uh, in here in Victoria, especially, so uh, like obviously uh, uh, works yeah. Victoria Migrant and Refugee Centre Society. From them, uh, there are lots of services so you can, uh, but from employment through uh, uh, settlement and those kind of stuff. And uh, especially if I, uh, I would like to uh, mention that, uh, especially professionals. Mm -hmm. who are uh, coming from uh, other country uh, the program which i helped by i mean uh, the skill connection skill connect program which is really great so those kind of uh, resources available if you are looking for so as uh, long as you get connected to yes, those yes with with those uh, resources and with uh, contact them to get uh, those uh, resources well, it sounds like you've had a really good experience at Berks. Yes, I did, because uh, because actually they were so nice to me, and uh, I would like to mention that uh, even uh, about my credential assessment and stuff, I I got to know uh, from one of Berks staff because he was so nice to me, and when when I just actually I had just informal chat with him. Uh, and he helped me to uh, find out the whole process and uh, not even that find out the process he was encouraging me to uh, complete and uh, get get that done as soon as possible so in that Excellent. way i'm grateful uh, for him well thank you so much for joining me today an ocean it's a great story and i'm sure you've helped a lot of people by sharing it thank, thank you, you. Now we'll hear a bit more from David Lau at Verks about how you can be involved with the organization, including volunteering. We have 500 volunteers per year, approximately, that help um, our staff and our clients and, and our members. So if people are interested in volunteering for Verks, we have a volunteer coordinator who they can meet and talk to. Uh, we have all sorts of interesting opportunities like um, uh, as, uh, working to help settlement workers. We have English tutoring. Um, we have employment mentoring opportunities for volunteers. Plus, we also put on a series of really interesting events. So if people are a little, you know, social butterflies, those are great places for, for volunteers to go as well. Floor hockey. A typical scene in Canada. Hearts pumping, teammates cheering, and the next player anxious to get in the game. At the Victoria Sports and Social Club, you're not going to find any pros or coaches yelling from the sidelines. Just like-minded people getting together for the sport. Normally, John Samoji would be in goalie pads, but tonight he's here as a spectator due to back pain. However, this doesn't keep John from getting involved because he's also here for the camaraderie. 
and let's not forget the get-together after the game. In short, a healthy appetite for fun. He tells us how VSSC can help you relive the joy of recess and put fun back into your exercise routine. Welcome, John. So tell us about how the Victoria Sports and Social Club began and what its purpose is. Well, John, that's a, that's a pretty big question. Um, the Victoria Sports and Social Club has been here in Victoria for approximately two years. Um, uh, it is an organization that uh, not only promotes uh, sporting activities, but has social aspects to, uh, to its participants. And um, uh, I've been a member of the organization for about four seasons now. Um, it's, it's been a, a wonderful opportunity to actually participate in these uh, sports activities. Um, for me specifically, I do the hockey aspect of, of the okay. organization and um, you know, I look after the equipment and look after the, uh, the participants and the players uh, for that, uh, for that uh, particular uh, event. Well, I notice your tagline is recess for adults, just play. So this is a different approach to getting out and playing sports and exactly. having fun. Exactly. Um, for us, uh, I like to promote the, the FUN factor, the fun factor. Um, we as adults, I find we get too wrapped up in our day-to-day -day activities and we forget how to actually have fun out, have, have mm -hmm. uh, to play. And this is an opportunity for you to, to leave those, how should I say, mundane activities of your life, the, the, you know, the, the humdrum of work and things like that, and go out and have fun. Um, be a kid. It's right. all about being a kid, and um, right. for for everyone uh, that, that participates uh, uh, in uh, Victoria Sports uh, um, uh, Club, uh, we have a variety of, of activities uh, ranging from hockey, uh, soccer, dodgeball, um, uh, basketball, and uh, and soccer. And these are also uh, activities that are season dependent. So, for example, during this time of year, which is a little uh, on the gray side, uh, we promote more indoor sports. But during the summertime, we will definitely promote uh, more outdoor sports like softball or beach volleyball. And how are your teams formed? Well, the teams themselves, uh, we have two different different formats. Uh, one format is an individual participant. So if you want to sign up as a, as a single person, by all means, we'll take you on. But if you want to sign up as a, a team, great. Um, have a team organized, come together, play as a team. and. Uh, uh, you know, the whole teamwork aspect. Uh, uh, people from from workplace may want to pull in a team, or people from school may want to pull in a team and and try their skills out and uh, have a good time and uh, you know joke about it afterwards and see how many goals they got or or such. And um, yeah, it, uh, again, it uh, it brings people together. And the social part is uh, the social part. <laughs> That's well, a big part of the fun, I'm sure. <laughs> the social part of, of uh, this club is uh, we have the Fermanid that is one of our sponsors and uh, you know after a game of uh, working hard of uh, trying to get some goals or, or as actually we can hear a goal right, right. now. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, we will head off to the Fermanid Inn and uh, sort of uh, reminisce or uh, decompress or, or rehydrate as, as some of us may, right. may want to do of uh, having uh, maybe a couple of drinks and uh, just sitting around and, and, and talking about uh, the, the activities of, 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 of that event. Now how about for a person who's interested in this and will be listening to this and ears will be perked up but they're a little nervous about maybe they've had negative experiences in the past with sports, they're worried about competition, that kind of thing. How is this club different? We are not a, a club that promotes um, competitive play. We're, as I said, a club that promotes the fun aspect. So we love to have people who are novices or beginners and may have had a negative experience um, playing a certain sport, but we may want to, may want to try again or, or try something different. And we would love to bring them on board and say, hey, listen, if you're interested in playing dodgeball, if you're interested in playing hockey, um, we're all just here to have fun. We're not here to, to, to win any major tournament or anything like that. Uh, we are here to, to just play and enjoy ourselves. If you're a beginner, a novice, uh, male or female, uh, by all means, come on on and, uh, and, and give it a shot. Uh, we, we try to emphasize that competitiveness, competitiveness uh, is just a small factor of, of enjoying your time uh, right. playing these sports. That sounds really healthy and fun. <laughs> well, again, um, 
to get out of, I guess, behind a desk or, or, or uh, even for me studying and all that, to, to have that distraction where I can actually enjoy myself. And it is, you know, the physical activity is, is good for you both uh, uh, physically and, and mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, it uh, um, does uh, bring you, I guess, a little bit more focused on, 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 uh, on, your, on, on your work. Well, and it's a good thing to do in the winter, too, when the days are long and well, yeah. dark. Yeah. Wet, cold. Right. So to yeah. get out at night and get moving and have fun, that exactly. sounds like a great exactly. thing. Exactly. Now, what about the age range? Uh, we have from, well, as, as uh, you mentioned, that it is an adult-oriented uh, uh, club. So we do have people who are uh, 19, but we have people who are in their uh, 40s and 50s. So. You know, we don't uh, discriminate in terms of uh, being young or old. We're only encouraging people to come out and have fun. And uh, uh, I've, I've played against people who are in their 40s or 50s, and uh, they enjoy playing, playing alongside with people who are in their 20s uh, and 30s. So it, it is something that, uh, that everyone enjoys. I mean, there's, just, there's not a, 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 how should I say, a barrier of, of a, a being old or being young. It's, it's there to, to, to come together as a team. And what's the most fun part for you? Because you're refereeing the games. Ah, uh, geez, the fun part. Um, for me, it's actually watching people enjoying themselves, but also participating in a sport that they've never been really comfortable before in the past, mm. and giving them an opportunity to explore their skills or explore their abilities in, in doing these type of sports. Uh, for example, I know a couple girls who've never played goalie in hockey right. and uh, they decided to give it a shot and they actually did really really well that uh, they enjoyed themselves and uh, they were surprised on how goalies are have to be agile and and, uh, uh, and be athletic but uh, uh, they they really uh, came away from it thinking that wow that's it's I gave it a shot and uh, it was for them it was yeah exactly it was worth it yeah we visited Keelan the manager of VSSC and he gave us a little more information about the organization. Well, it all started in Ottawa with the Ottawa Sport and Social Club, and they branched out to Victoria. Um, so Victoria is a satellite city off of Ottawa, and they started the Sport and Social Club here, just like they did in Ottawa. Um, and they basically mimicked all the practices that they have over there, and. Uh, really focus on the social aspect here as well. So we really try and emphasize that we are a co-ed adult rec sport league and not uh, super big into the competitive side of things. We really run the full gamut of sports. Uh, right now we have about nine different offerings and that involves our classes. So we, we also have things like yoga and, and boot camp as well. Um, some of our main ones are dodgeball, basketball, volleyball, indoor soccer. Um, and those sports will change as the season changes as well. So as we get into the warmer months, say spring and summer, we're going to be offering a lot more outdoor sports and less indoor sports. That's where the demand is. People don't want to be inside in the hot summer months. John, what other types of feedback have you had from participants in terms of their taking part in the sports? Well, apart from uh, teamwork and, and uh, the ability to be active, uh, there's also a sense of, uh, how should I say, um, the ability to self-police. Um, some of these sports, yeah, you, you can get a little um, competitive and right. sometimes the, the aggression level might get a little bit high. It's the realization that, hey, okay, I'm getting a little bit too uh, rough or too uh, competitive here. You know, step back, self-police. Um, we're not there to, to regulate and make sure everyone has to follow the rules, the T and all that. Right. You're there to have fun. And we're giving you as the player the opportunity to, to, um, to work that and, and to, to know, you know, when, when enough's enough in terms of aggression or, or competitiveness, but also when you can turn on that fun. And, and enjoy yourself. And for everybody coming out there, it's it's always a, a really like a really good time. It's a lot of energy, lots of lots of positive energy. Lots of positive, yeah. right? What is the cost for people who want to participate in one of the sports? It's an excellent question, Jan. And I think the best way for for someone is to actually visit the uh, the VSSC website. Um, there are individual registration fees, uh, but there's also uh, fees for teams. And in fact. Uh, if you sign up as a, a, a team group, uh, the costs are less than if you would uh, pay as an individual. So uh, go go visit the website and you know click on the uh, you know sport that does interest you and uh, register through the, through that website and the cost breakdowns will be all explained to you uh, uh, via the website. Well, and I did visit it. It's a great website. Thank you.
Well, it sounds like some people really enjoy the sports aspect. Some people in maybe enjoy a bit more of the social aspect or of both the, of the <laughs> of participating. Mm -hmm. And um, so let's hear some feedback from some of the participants. Excellent. I haven't been in Victoria that long, just about a year and a half, so if it wasn't for being invited into this, I wouldn't really know where to go to look for playing a sport, so yeah, it's a really big deal and I would, we're hoping to continue to play in January too. I used to play soccer a lot and I kind of tapered off on that because of work and school, I didn't really have the time, and this is only once a week, so for an hour, so it, it fits in really well it, with my schedule and it's not a huge commitment and it keeps me fit. Yeah. <laughs> or helps. And which do you enjoy more, the sports? Now be, be honest, the sports or the socializing? Um, probably the socializing, to be honest. I, I really do enjoy the sport, and you can socialize through the sport too, right? So they're like one and the same. But after the sport, after we after a game, we'll go down to the uh, the Fernwood Inn and we'll grab a drink or two and some nachos or some wings and talk about the game and what we've been up to over the past week. I'd say it's a nice mix of both but I actually like the sport part because I find it a real big stress reliever. Like when I'm out there that's all I'm thinking about is, is playing even if it's poorly. Plus it's kind of one of those things that you look forward to all week to play because if we miss a game, if it's cancelled or something, you feel kind of let down. So yeah, you feel way better like from game one to I think it's the seventh game. Like even physically you feel much better. Well, thank you, John, for coming out tonight and telling us about the Victoria Sports and Social Club. It sounds very fun and enjoyable. Well, thank you for having me on your show uh, this evening, and uh, I w hopefully we'll see you out there uh, participating in one of our uh, games. I think you will. All right. In the dark nights of winter. <laughs> well, that's it for our show tonight. Thank you to my guests and to you for watching. If you'd like to share any show ideas or you have any comments about the show, please do contact me. See you next time.